Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, this video was brought to you by Manscaped. Big Manscaped in the building. 3.0s, 4.0s, everything you need to keep today's man groomed. So make sure you check it out, man. Use code Brunson. Say 20% off. Get the free shipping. And the free shipping I fought for that for y'all. So, yo, man, Howie Roseman out here, you know, he talking. He's talking, man. I'm trying to see... Um, uh, the Breakers, um, he was at the Breakers Luxurious Resort in South Florida. You know what I mean? And, and what he did was he, he explained to the reporters, you know what I'm saying, why the Eagles haven't really had a, uh, you know, a tremendously active and successful free agency so far. You know what I mean? And, and basically Howie Roseman is saying like, look, man, look, we went after some guys. It didn't pan out for X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? Um, the guys that were available weren't a fit due to it not panning out to X, Y, Z money wise and stuff like that. So you know we did what we were we did what we were able to do. And he's telling people to relax. It's only March. He's telling people to relax. It's only March. So far, so far, Howie Roseman hasn't you know disappointed me to the point to where I can say right now I will never believe another word that come out of his mouth. You know what I mean? He's did some questionable stuff. You know what I'm saying? As of right now, what did he say? What did he tell us? He told us that Jalen Hurts was going to be the guy. As of right now, that's what it's looking like. All the major players off the board that everybody wants us to go with, as of right now, that's what it looks like. How can he change that? He can change that by drafting a quarterback. If he does any quarterback moves on draft day, anything like that, or if, if I would never believe nothing that Howie Rose has to say out of his mouth. Right now, he got a clean slate from me. He got a clean slate from me. The questionable thing was the Derek Barnett thing. But if he go off the deep end, and you know what I'm saying, draft a quarterback or make a move for a quarterback or something like that, next, I'll never trust nothing he say out of his mouth again. Because truth is, Baker Mayfield is out there. I don't know how they feel about a Baker Mayfield, but him being out there scares me. That seems like something Howie Roseman would do. Switch out Jalen Hurts with Baker Mayfield. That's something that he feel like he'd be able to do. And that that's, that's scary to me. <coughs> and, um... The Eagles are in a great position, man. We didn't get a wide receiver in free agency. We didn't get a star cornerback. I heard we was talking to Stephon Gilmore. We didn't get a star cornerback. So that leads me to believe that we'll be drafting probably those positions in this draft. We'll be drafting those positions, you know, within the first couple of picks. Probably in the first round, we'll be addressing wide receiver and cornerback. You almost have to at this point. You know what I mean? So you could kind of gauge where we're going to go. If everything was to stop today, that's where I would bet my money at us, you know, Taking our shot to improving the roster right now. But how we say relax, we still in March. It's not even April yet. How we says relax. So you know what I mean? To an extent, you kinda gotta do that because we got five picks within like what the first 83? Yeah, I think like five picks or something like that. <coughs> so the Philadelphia Eagles is sitting sitting pretty. We sitting pretty, man. We sitting pretty, man. What is it? Five in the first fifty three? First eighty three. Five picks in the top eighty three. You cannot beat that type of production and three of the picks being in the first round. Howie Roseman got the chance to rewrite history, but Howie, Howie Roseman also could blow it. That Derek Barnett thing, I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of confidence in him. I don't have a lot of confidence in him, but I'm trying to give Howie Roseman the benefit of the doubt. There's still people that surround right now. You know what I mean? I don't expect Howie Roseman to take a shot at anybody like the honey badger. I, I just don't think so. When you got the capital out there. This is the tricky thing about having the amount of capital that the Philadelphia Eagles have. <clears throat> when you have this much capital, excuse me, you run into issues like, I don't want to have to give out a, a max contract. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to give out a max contract right now because I could draft, you know what I mean, in the top in the top five at that position. I have three first round picks. <clears throat> you know what I mean? The kid Jalen Pytree from Baylor, I feel like, you looking for a safety? He right there. You, you if you want a safety that bad, why well, overpay for somebody that got some mileage? So I don't see him going after Honey Badger. I, I I think that is their mindset. The same reason why we didn't go after just Davion Clowney. Why go after somebody who you can get somebody that got a higher ceiling in the draft and have him under a rookie contract? Think about it. It's business at the end of the day. Who would you rather get? Would you rather have Jadavion Clowney on a one year deal, or would you rather have um? The best edge rusher in this draft. Would you rather have Kayvon Thibodeau? Or would you rather have them? What's the other dude? Now I'm forgetting his name. You know what I'm saying? Anybody. You know what I mean? Would you rather have the, the, the edge that come off of Georgia? Who would you rather have? 
it's 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 common sense almost for real for real to not really sign nobody big name. It's a lot of talent, man. I think that this is a great strategy by the Philadelphia Eagles if you plan on drafting stars in this draft. Stars that were stars in college. You cannot take no shot on nobody. If they was not a star in college, you do not need to have them with a first round pick and they don't need to be a first round pick for the Philadelphia Eagles. We need stars. Stars. We do not need to reach, which which is what really confused me about the Jalen Rager pick. I hate to like peel an old scab, but he wasn't a star. Justin Jefferson was a star. You want to know the secret to why I'm so good nine times out of ten to picking who's going to be a star wide receiver? It's of course is the attributes. Of course, is what you can do on a football field. But if you can do it while being a star, you have a high chance of success in the National Football League. A high chance of success. Because you could do it at any given time. It's like putting on a show to you. It's an art to you. If you have the, if you have that the pr- productivity while being a star. It's a lot of guys that got the productivity who just not a, not a star to match. You know what I'm saying? Tyler Lockett uh, being one of them. He got the productivity. But he just don't jump off the screen as, as a star. Adam Thielen. Productivity. But just don't jump off the screen as a, as, as a star. Then you got guys like Stefan Diggs. You see where I'm going? You can't predict the Tyler Lockett or Adam Thielen, hence where they were drafted at. But you could predict a Justin Jefferson. You could predict a Jamar Chase. You could predict a Devontae Smith. And the Philadelphia Eagles got to go out there and predict accurately. And you need a star. You don't need a locker room guy. You need a star. And I think if Howie Roseman follows that mantra, I think it should be some you know good stuff that come out of this, man. Let me know what you think in the comments.